Hi, yeah. This is a tutorial by Cindy, and what I'm going to do is show you how to make a texture for your hair on Photoshop with a tablet. So the way I go about doing this is I just select colour. There we go. I'm going to take that brown and go to filter, noise, add noise. And that's on 10.72 on Gaussian and monochromatic. Filter blur, motion blur. I'm going to set that to about 124 on angle minus 90. And I'm going to make a new layer. Just take a normal black brush and just swipe it along the middle and a little bit along the top and the bottom. Filter blur. Gaussian blur ever so slightly and on soft light. Okay, so now this is the most important part. I make a new layer, select the background colour, make it a little bit lighter, and here I'm just gonna start making the strokes. Now the longer and more careful you stay on this for, the better it will be. I'm going to have to do the same for the bottom, so if you want to fast forward a little bit then that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to use the smudge tool just smudge a few of the ends that have gone into with this middle part just to make sure that it blends with the colour. There we are. Okay so now I'm going to make a new layer above that and select a black and I'm just going to start painting in between the strands that we've just drawn. This will make them stand out a little bit. Again, this will take quite a while. That's the only disadvantage about this method, it will take a long time. And But the good thing is it looks more realistic and you can keep going over and over it to just produce lots of different styles. Gonna add a little bit bigger sections as well. Again, a main feature about this um, technique is that the the tablet itself, on most of them, it has a sort of a graduation effect on when you draw stuff. So that's what's good because of hair strands do look like this. Do the same to the bottom. Not sure if you can see what I've been doing. But yeah, that's it. Again, you don't have to be too precise with this because of it will be messy. But um, that's just the look of it, you know. It gives it character. Okay, and I'm just gonna blur the edges. 
of the blackness a little bit. Especially the really big bits. Okay, that's what I have so far. And I'm going to set that to soft light and just tone down the opacity. I'd say about halfway, maybe just over halfway. Okay, and make a new layer and grab your white. And on the strands that we drew, the, the um, brown strands, just go over the white with them, just a little bit. It'll make them pop and just go over the rest of the texture just a tiny bit as well. Again, you can have bigger sections of the white. It's just up to you, really. Okay. And again, I'm just going to drag the um, edges with the smudge tool, just so it blends in. My uh, strength is on 54, but you can change it to whatever you want, just personal preference, really. So <clears throat> that's changed to soft light and this is near the end, just do a little bit more on the strands, just the main ones, the ones that are the lightest. As you can see, this tutorial is very mainly about um, actually drawing the texture on yourself rather than using lots of different effects. And I've set that layer to overlay. Now, there you are, there's a proper view. The screen does look quite... Um, red but the actual texture itself is brown which I'll show at the end. Uh, yeah let's upload it. And I'm gonna put it on this deck this mesh. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, that's what I have. Now it's worked with this mesh, but the downside to this technique is that the strands are very, very fine, and on a lot of the meshes they squash, squash the um, texture, so when you zoom out it looks very glittery. So what I do is, once it's saved, I open back up the JPEG, duplicate that layer, and then Control T, which is Transform, and I just pull it along a little bit, resave that, it makes the strands wider, and then re-upload that. The strands will be a lot more thick. I don't know if you can see, but. That's just if you do come across a mesh that is that squashes your texture.